Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zerg and I'm coming at you again today with another Psyker build. So this is something I've been tinkering with and I've seen a few other people working on similar things and uh, it kind of works. It works really well, I've been doing Auric missions for this and um, I really like it. So let's take a look. So this is a Surge Staff build, I told you I'd try and make it work. I told you. Right. So, the innards of the build. Surge Staff. Obviously, I'm using Warp Nexus and Warp Flurry. If I could, I'd switch out the unyielding enemies for Carapus, but I don't have that luxury, so I didn't. I'm still using the Demios Blaze Force Sword with Slaughterer and Uncanny Strikes. And talent-wise, it kind of looks like this. So we're grabbing Soul Stealer, Quietitude, Warp Expenditure, Battle Meditation, lovely bit of toughness here, bit of toughness here, Sail, Eternal Shards, Ethereal Shards, sorry. We're not grabbing Quick Shards because at the moment uh, they regen quicker than you can use them anyway, so this is a wasted point. Come down here. Picking up Mind in Motion, because this is very important on higher difficulties. It just gives you that little bit of extra movement to get yourself out of there. Coming down here, Inspiring Presence. Grabbing Seer's Presence with a cooldown. Empathic Evasion, because the Surge Staff is still quite a high crit chance weapon. And this helps. And a lovely bit of range damage here. And our ability. So we're taking Telekinetic Shield. And we're not going for the Dome. We're going over to this side. And with the Telekinetic Shield, has a 10% chance to stun enemies that pass through it. Special enemies have a 100% chance to get stunned, but also damage the shield. So you can use this to block specials. So you can chuck it in front of mutants, dogs, it will stop them. And you get two charges of it, which is nice. Over here, we're grabbing this for crit chance. Kinetic Deflection, so we can basically uh, eternally block. And we're taking Puppet Master and coming all the way down here for Warp Siphon. Inner Tranquility. Ethereum Empowerment. Vampiric, uh, Psychic Vampire, sorry. And Warp Battery. So increases all base damage by 4% for each Warp Charge. This is just going to be a lovely stacking buff for you, just to keep your damage going. Killing an Elite or Special Enemy gains your Warp Charge for 25 seconds, stacking 4 times. It now stacks 6 times. Your next combat ability spends all available warp charges to choose to cool down of that combat ability by 7.5 seconds per warp charge. This means you'll be able to drop shields really, really quick. And especially when you need them. These things are absolutely amazing for dropping in choke points or when you're being surrounded. You can basically drop them. It'll be that. Specials get stuck in them, bullets don't go through them. Um, and I, I have I saw someone else talking about this and his description. Uh, if I can find the guy's name, I will um, credit him in the description below because this is his description, not mine. But I thought it was very, very apt, so I'll share it with you all now. It's like playing the Sister of the Thorn in Vermintide 2. <clears throat> but not as snappy, not as quick. But it works off of the same principle of using the thorn the thorn ward and you'll be dropping this thing in choke points and it's actually really really good uh, the surge staff still does a stupid amount of damage though it does bounce a lot less than it used to obviously this is with no warp charges but it does still really hammer everything the only downside to this I have found in really tight horde situations, you will start missing like the Void Strike, the Trauma, or the Purge. Because you can't really deal with it, you have to rely on your team to deal with it. With a sail, it's very nice for just popping elites on the move. But if you aren't a fan of a sail, this build can be done uh, with Brain Burst. 
So you literally take the points out of here, put them into Brain Burst, and come down this side. All you'd be losing out on is these two nodes here. So you'd lose Mind in Motion, but you'd gain uh, Psychonetics Aura. And to get, you'd want both of these. So to do that, you would take out this point here. Perfect timing. This isn't absolutely necessary to build. I threw this in here because I took a point out of quick shards. So you would take this, get rid of these, and put them in here. And then you'd follow the exact same route down the tree this side, just missing these two. Um, if you're more comfortable with uh, Brain Burst, or just like the Brain Burst can auto hit every 15 seconds while you're firing, it's up to you. I do quite like it, but also a sail is just funny to use. Especially that it bounces around. So on a high intensity shot gauntlets or whatever that, when you have lots and lots and lots of uh, special spawning, you can shield up, lay into them while they're at range, and as they get closer, start zapping. Just make sure you're watching your perils because you don't have a get out of jail free card of this because you don't have venting shriek. So I'll give you another look at the tree. There you go. And if you want to see uh, this build in action, watch the last hour of tonight's live stream, which was Thursday's live stream as I was showcasing this build on there, and you'll see it uh, in action. So, I hope you folks like the build. I hope this is useful. And uh, if it is, or you like it, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. It really does help us out. And uh, consider signing up to be a member. You know, there's perks and things. It's lovely. But until next time, enjoy, folks. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.